guys welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm gonna be bringing you my Valentine's Day makeup look and I'm going to give you three different lip options so that this look could work for anybody no matter what taste you have what skin tone you have so if you'd like to see my Valentine's Day makeup look then please keep watching so for my Valentine's Day look, I want this to be something that would last you guys all night in case, for example, you have to work that day. So you want to do your makeup in the morning before work, but you need it to last if you're going on a date later or you're just going out with you and your friends later that night. So for the foundation, I'm going to do the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I'm in the shade 3 and 2. I really love this foundation. I don't use it very often, but I really love it because it's waterproof, it's sweat resistant. It will last you all day long and it's super super matte so it's really good for any skin type even if you're dry you can wear this so I'm gonna use this with my beauty blender since it is a more full coverage foundation you don't need a lot with this and if you want a pump they sell the pumps now for it and also your Mac foundation pump should work for it as well so you can do this as full coverage or as natural as you want if you want this super natural, you can just put a little bit on your beauty blender and just kind of like blend it all around. Or you can keep adding layers or just add more and do a brush. I'm going to add a little bit more because I want this to be like super full coverage. I haven't been good at doing my skincare routine recently. So my skin is like kind of messed up right now and I haven't gotten a facial since November and it's now end of January. So... I'm gonna go I think in like two days so I'm using a different foundation but my face routine will pretty much be the same as it normally is For my concealer I'm gonna do the born this way sculpting concealer and this is the shade light beige I am gonna do like my heavy glam just so that this is something that can last you a long time and no matter what you're doing where you're going or how long you need your makeup to last so I'm doing not a natural face but like a nice full 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 coverage beat this is my Fenty sponge so I'm gonna blend it out with For contour, I'm going to use the Fenty Matchsticks in the shade Truffle. Are you guys into Valentine's Day? Leave me a comment down below if you are like celebrating it or if you're into it. My husband and I, we're not like the biggest Valentine's Day people, but we still celebrate it. It's still fun. But sometimes if it feels like super forced, then it's not fun at all. So I feel like it depends like on your personality and who you're with. I look all cute now, so I'm going to blend this with my beauty blender. Even if you're single, I feel like you should still have fun on Valentine's Day and go out and enjoy life and not worry about, oh, I'm single, blah, 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 because... I notice a lot of women do that. They're like always so caught up with having to be with someone or they feel like less worthy if they're not in a relationship. But honestly, like, do you? You don't have to be with somebody. Whenever the time is right for you to meet somebody, that's when you'll meet them. So don't feel bad if you're alone on Valentine's Day because, you know, you could be doing a million different things. You could be bettering your career. You could be hanging with your family, hanging with your friends. So don't think that you need a man and you need to be on a date and all that. It's just another day. It's just a way for the world to make money off of people. You know, another holiday to sell cards and candy and gifts. And it sucks, but mm, that's how we live. I know it's kind of like bad because then the guy feels obligated to like do stuff. And he doesn't want to like disappoint, you know. Because for example, even if my husband and I were not into Valentine's Day. But if he did nothing, like I'll be really pissed off, you know. It's just a compromise. It's just like... Whatever your personality is, just do that. Okay, now that our contour is done, let's set our under eyes. We're using our same MAC Studio Fix in N4. I'm next going to set my whole face with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. If you guys haven't tried this translucent powder, I highly recommend it. It is a matte translucent powder, but it blurs out your whole face and it doesn't over dry you. So any skin type could use this. I really like it. You can bake with it or just use a thin amount to set the entire face. I'm now going to use my MAC in Me Sun to bronze up a little bit. I want this whole look to be like really full coverage, really glam, and really matte. And then I'll add the highlighter where we want it. But overall, I don't want to be super glowy. I want this to be something that's good for photos, it's going to last all day, and you're not going to be shiny at the end of the day. I'm going to use my Smashbox liner brush to do this. 
I want this to be a little more precise instead of an all over bronze. I'm then taking Hoola from Benefit to get a little more of a precise contour. I'm going to use this for my nose and the backs of my cheeks. You can choose to use this by itself or use this over top of a regular bronzer like I'm doing. I just don't like this gray tone all over it. I like it just back here for like a little shadow. And then I'm going to contour my nose with this little fluffy brush from MAC. I'm going to do like a little more of a snatched nose for this look. Then this will go in our crease as well. I'm going to take the Cheek Litters palette. I'm going to use a shade Cookie by Benefit. And I'm going to take a little bit on a tiny brush and just highlight my nose. I want this to be super precise and snatched, so I'm using a brush instead of my finger. And then I'll blend that with my finger. And then just here on the tip. And then I'm going to highlight here. And then under my brow bone a little bit. Next I'm going to do my highlighter. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Flash Palette. And I want my highlight to just be like super precise. So I'm going to do it very soft right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury blush in the shade Ecstasy. And the reason I'm using this color is because I want this to be like a little bit of like a softer neutral blush. So that when we do have three different options for our lip color, it will go well with any of them. I'm going to use that same Smashbox brush. And I'm going to just swirl these together. And focus this just here on the apples. See how this is just really soft, really pretty. It will be really good with any eye look or lip look that you choose to do. And lastly for the face, I'm going to clean up my cheeks with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Floss Finish Powder in the shade 2. And I'm using my little Givenchy Puff. And then I'm going to sweep this away with my Morphe little brush. To set everything, I'm going to do the MAC Fix Plus. I like using a lot of the Fix Plus because I feel like everything just soaks in. Nothing looks powdery. There's no hard edges. Okay. I'm going to do my brows now. This is the Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown. I like to just brush them up. And since this is a more dramatic look, you do want to make sure that you fill in your brows. Um, they can still be natural, like don't look crazy. But I mean, as opposed to just doing like a light powder and making them look bushy, a really nice clean brow would look good with this look. I don't like mine like too dense because they are already full. But I do notice in photos there will be like little patches and like little white marks um, from where the hairs are kind of like combed into one place. So just lightly take your pencil or your powder and fill them in. And you can even carve them out with a concealer if you're into that too. I personally don't like doing that because I do my brows once my face is already done. But you can still take your little brush and like clean up the edges. I'm going to set my brows with a Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is just a clear brow gel. Okay, for this eye look, I want this to be really pretty and clean and simple. So what I want to do is kind of just like really light browns with a shimmery lid and a nice wing liner. You don't have to do this, but this is just what I want to do because I feel like I want the face to look super glam, super fresh, and then that way I can do a nude lip, a pink lip, or a red lip, or even a dark lip. Whatever you want to do, this entire face can go with any color lip that you'd want to do. So I'm going to use my Dose palette, of course, my friend Cation palette. So I already have my Hoola bronzer in the crease, which is super pretty. So what I think I'm going to do is just take the one shade necessary, which is a similar shade, and take a smaller, stiffer brush, and then put this on first before we cut the crease. So I'm using this little shape brush. So this is going to make the color a little more dense. I'm just focusing a lot of this in the outer corner first. This is a very similar shade to Hoola, it's just slightly darker. I'm going to take my MAC Fluffy brush and I'm going to add in the smallest amount of this warmer brown shade here. I just want it to be like a tiny bit darker. 
So I'm going to take my MAC concealer brush. This is the 195. I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer that we used. You can use a paint pot from MAC. You can use concealer. You can use anything you want. I'm just taking a tiny, tiny bit off of the wand so you don't have to put a lot on here. And then I'm just going to put this on the lid. I'm going to try not to get it on my lash extensions. But this is just like a subtle cut crease. You can do it as big as you want or as dramatic as you want. You can make this like super subtle it's just really up to you you don't have to go all the way up but i'm basically just doing this on the lid just right where you're gonna want the light color to be so i did that like that for this dries i'm gonna go in with this shade here on the dose palette this is just like a champagne kind of like white color i'm going to take a flat brush and i'm gonna put this over the concealer i put on my lid this is going to make that more pigmented. It's going to make it stick better. It's going to make it more glittery. It's just going to pop more with the contrast of the crease. You can do any kind of shimmer shadow you want. I just think this looks amazing on the lid. I'm going to go in and redefine the crease, but first I'm going to do the other eye. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You see how it got up here? That's like if you wanted like a really tall cut crease. You could do it up to there and make your eyes look big. But for me, with my eye shape, my eyes will look smaller. If I put it up here, it will look like I have no crease. What I want to do is go back in with that first crease brush and get a little shadow on there. And I'm going to redefine the crease. Just make sure that it's still kind of like a nice contrast. It's still dark and also blends the edges. You want to be careful with the glittery shadows because... If you blend them away, you're going to have like fallout of glitter all over your face. So I like to kind of like lean my head back and just put the brush right in the crease. So here we are with the shadows. I'm going to take a small fluffy brush and just run the brown underneath. I'm going to mix the two browns we used in the crease. And I just want this to be really subtle and soft and natural. I'm going to take the shade Cookie that we highlighted our nose with. And I'm going to do this in the inner corner of the eyes. I love this eye look. It makes you look so angelic, like a little innocent baby. Now for the annoying part, we gotta do a wing liner. I hate it because I'm a perfectionist and if something's not symmetrical, it's not the same on both sides, not the same thickness or like one's higher than the other, I get so annoyed. So we'll see how this goes. Normally I like to do a winged liner before I do my foundation so I can take a little makeup wipe and like make it perfect before I do my face. but. Here we are, so let's do this. So what I'm gonna do is take my Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick, this is the liquid pen, and I'm going to outline first the shape that I want, and then I'm gonna fill it in with the Dose of Color Shady. This is a gel eyeliner. So, here we go. I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> it's kinda hard with lash extensions also. So, I'm gonna first do the regular line on the eye. hard for me to talk while I'm focusing so so sorry the pen like doesn't like to go on with the glitter eyeshadows So we did one side, so that's with the pen. Then let me go over it with the gel eyeliner. I just need to like complete this side and I'll move on to the next side. I'm gonna use my little MAC slanted eyeliner brush. This is just gonna make it super matte, super dark. And make sure it's all filled in. Cause the glitter shadow made it so the pen kind of like grabbed the shadow instead of applying the eyeliner. You can put as many layers as you need to on this. I love this wing so much. You guys know I never do a wing, so I really like how this looks. Now the hard part is getting the other one to match. Okay, after torturing myself, the eyeliner is done. This one I love so much. This is the first one I did. This one I hate. I don't think it's even, but like I can't. I've been sitting here forever, and I just, I can't. So this is as good as it's going to get. And I feel like eyeliner is easier to do on other people. Like winged eyeliner, for me, I can do it so good and so perfect. 
on someone else, on myself, no. This is why I never do it. But I wanted it for this look, so let's move on to mascara. I'm going to do the MAC Extended Play on my bottom lashes. I'm really loving how the face looks so far, how everything turned out. I love this clean, glam makeup look. So now, our last step is lips. I wanted to give you guys three different options for this makeup look. That's why I kept this super clean and glam and just like simple. The cheeks will go with anything, the eye would go with anything. So, for my three looks, I'm gonna use my Fenty lip products. These are the Stunna Lip Paints. These are life-changing. These are so amazing. For our nude lip, we're going to use the shade Unbutton. For our pink lip, we're going to use Uncuffed. And for our red lip, we're going to use Uncensored. So for my liner, for the nude and the pink, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever. Um, this is the Artist Color Pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. I've used this here before on my channel, and I really love the shade. So this lip pencil is like a little bit darker than your own lip color if you're my skin tone and it goes well with any kind of like lip color you'd want to wear with it. You could wear this with pretty much any shade, even a red if you just need it to like make sure the color doesn't bleed. It's a really good color and if you're a more deeper skin tone this would just show up as like a kind of like pinkish mauve on you. This one is Unbuttoned. This is our peachy nude. I'm going to take the shade Total Taupe and I'm just going to shade the outsides. So this is our nude lip. You can also choose to put a gloss over this if you want it to be more glossy. So I took off the nude and we're going to do our pink next. This is Uncuffed. This is like the same color as the lip liner. Just like a little darker than your own lips. So this is the pink. So I'm going to do my red lip now. This is the NARS lip liner in the shade Jungle Red. This is the red Gwen Stefani uses, in case you want to know. So I'm going to do this. It's kind of like a brighter pink red. You can choose to do a blue liner under the red to make it pop more, or you can do like a darker brown and shade the outer corners if you want it to be a super dark, like plummy red. Here's our lip liner, so let's use the shade Uncensored. So this is our nice classic glam look with the red lip. I love how this looks, but some people will be like, oh, it's basic, it's Valentine's Day, red lip, you know, but you could be classic, traditional, or you could just go for a nude lip or a dark lip. Anything that you want to wear, you could wear, okay? I love how classic this look is and how glam it is. I don't wear a red lip very often, so I'm super into this. <laughs> 